off they go. Janina is an oceanographer and is heading out to sea on board a research vessel. She and her colleagues set off once a year to investigate the ocean currents deep in the North Atlantic. The extension of the Gulf Stream, the North Atlantic Current, is also known as the Nordic Heat Pump. This is because it transports warm water across the Atlantic into the Nordic Seas and on towards the Arctic Ocean. On the way, the current cools and gets denser, as thermal energy is released into the air. This thermal energy is responsible for Europe's mild climate. The return flow into the North Atlantic is located below the surface, where cold water from the Nordic seas flows towards the southwest. Along the way, the return flow experiences a lot of chaotic motion. The technical term for this motion is turbulence. The mountains and valleys on the seafloor may increase the amount of turbulence. This is exactly what Janina and her team want to investigate for their project, Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean. For this, they study the ocean between Iceland and Greenland in an area called the Greenland-Scotland Ridge. Their research focuses on special deep currents, known as overflows. Here, the dense water is collected in a kind of basin. The cold water masses eventually flow over a ridge and down a slope, like a gigantic waterfall, passing into the North Atlantic Basin. From here, the current continues southwards. The overflow creates eddies and turbulence that accelerate mixing processes south of the Greenland-Scotland Ridge. The team of oceanographers wishes to investigate these mixing processes in order to be able to make more accurate statements about the ocean's circulation in the future. Two weeks later, the researchers have collected a lot of data about how the eddies and turbulence develop. They are now on their way home, where they will analyze this data until the next research cruise. Back home at their research institute, Janina and her team evaluate the data together with meteorologists and mathematicians who are all involved in the research project. There are frequent speculations as to what would happen if the North Atlantic current weakened or if its route changed. It could mean that Europe would become significantly cooler. Without the warm northward current, the North Sea might freeze over for months on end and Europe's climate would resemble that of Canada. If the energy transfer that takes place throughout the Gulf Stream Nordic Seas overflow system can be better understood, researchers could use their data to improve climate models. As a result, more accurate predictions of how the climate will develop over the coming decades would be possible. It might also answer the question of whether we might one day be able to skate on the North Sea in winter. <laughs>